Hey, Tails. You missed the BBBE. Huh? Best boss beating ever. So, is Yacker giving you any more information or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't 100%. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called Hyper Go On. It's Original name, do not steal. No. Well, sorta. Of. It's their life. You only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. That is sort of an understatement. <coughs> Funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. Anyway, it's Sonic should switch their aisle spice to speed stick. <laughs> who they call bald Get it? <laughs> Not funny. Baldy nose hair. That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know. I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power, all their power, and using it for an evil aquatic mammal, an evil dolphin, no, a porpoise. Oh, an evil purpose. Come on, Tails. Keep working on it. Bird. Hey, where are you going? To find Baldy McNose Hair, of course. <laughs> I'm totally calling him McNose Hair. That's one of those lines that made me smirk, but not really, like, laugh out loud. It's very childish, but anyway. Yeah, so apparently Eggman is taking the source from these aliens called their Hyper Go on Power. Yeah, real creative name, and... Using it for something, for some sort of evil porpoise. I'm oh, sorry, evil purpose. So we gotta figure that out. Then hope maybe we can find that out in Starlight Carnival. But who knows? Let's go to Act One of Starlight Carnival. And God, this place puts Tron to shame. I mean, look at all this. Look at all these colors. No wonder they call it Sonic Colors. It's beautiful. It's vibrant. It's the textures are just so nice. I mean, look at this game. Look at this. This is this is a game on the Nintendo Wii, for Christ's sake. And look how, excuse my French, but goddamn beautiful it looks. I mean, seriously. I don't know why I decided to say excuse my French, even though I've cussed in my LPs in the past. And uh, prepare to do the homing attack, because the first time I played this stage, yeah, I kind of did not know that you need to home attack those um square um gray uh, rectangles or gray prisms and yeah i kind of fell to my death a bunch of times kind of a one of those quick reaction moments but yeah now we got disco fever on here and we got ourselves the blue wisp what does the blue wisp do well it turns sonic into this cube and with him turning into this cube and how come i couldn't home attack him that's weird usually i can home attack those guys but um the blue cube, the blue wisp allows Sonic to turn into a cube and makes all blue rings into cubes, and vice versa. <sighs> Damn it! Uh, what's up, guys? Haven't seen you since Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Well, what are you guys called again? Spinies, I think. Are are you? Are they called Spinies? I I can't remember unless I have Mario on my head right now. Uh. Now, for a person who's been playing, you know, Sonic for like 18 years, I can't even think of the bad Nick's name off the top of my head. I'm so terrible. And again, I have so much shit on my mind right now. <clears throat> hey! I know these guys. Motorbugs! Again, from the classic series. Yeah, there's a lot, actually a lot of, um, classic bad Nicks actually return in this game. Oh, red ring. Mine. Yeah, it's one of those quick set moments. You can easily, you know, sideswipe them, you know, from the side. You know, quick stepping. Sweep of the leg, or sweep of the wheel. Do 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 Yeah, see, you can even get, like, bonus points by just sidestepping a lot. It's ridiculous. I think it. I think those side uh, sidestep points I'm um, added to my um, score. I'm not too sure. But seriously, they expect you to get a lot of points if you want to get that S rank. And whoa, what the hell? Hey, this ain't Super Mario Brothers. Get me over here. Huh? 
Robots playing trumpet. Chris can relate. I know, this is like the second time I've like brought in Chris in here, even though he's not with me. But um, there's a lot of things that remind me of him when you know, I'm playing this game. Um, you don't want to go for that one, you actually want to go for the middle one. Because if you actually go for the left one, it'll bounce you all the way to the right one. And if you take the right one, it'll bounce you all the way to the middle one. And the middle one will actually get you to the door here. So yeah. Ooh. Cube Wisp. Or a blue wisp. Do 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 do. All right. Yeah. No brainer on these ones. Giant crushers. Stay away. Cube. Let's take this spring here and see what it takes us. Oh ho ho! Let's just bypass this area. Cool. No. Oh wait. Look at that. Another spring. Wee! Huzzah! And let's see. Hey, there's a red ring up there. What do you know? Now, it's not really a no-brainer to know that there's a red ring up there, because uh, if you're even... If you're first time playing this and you want to see what's up there, then yeah, it's not it's not going to be hard to get that. <clears throat> whatsoever. But there is the goal ring. Four minutes and 25 seconds. Wow. It's got to be the longest stage so far. At least, the longest I could think of. And I got myself an A. Hey, you know what? I don't need that extra life. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. I don't know. Force a habit. Hooray! We got the blue cube. What kind of hooray was that? <laughs> kind of sound a little dysfunctional. Anyway, on to Act 2. I don't know which music piece I like better. Act 1, Starlight Confer, or Act 2? Act 1, I love the instruments, but Act 2, I love the fucking beat. Yeah, another Blue Wisp. Let's see. Oh yeah, actually, I forgot to mention one thing. When you're actually in cube form with the Blue Wisp, you can actually, like, nuke all the enemies on the screen. I completely forgot about that. Wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Damn it. Wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Ah, fuck. I always get this one wrong. Wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Whew! There we go. Ow. I don't know how I did that. Oh, well, whatever. Top path. Do 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 do. Holy shit! Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna nuke them all. Bam! Okay, well, that didn't work. I guess you just have a certain radius. <laughs> Fuck me for thinking you can destroy everything in one hit. Bam! Ah! Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to use a lot of the blue wisp here on this act. I think I hear the gold ring, actually. Yeah. Thank goodness you can easily get out and in and out of your um, cube form really quickly. Yeah, unfortunately you can take damage, uh, actually, when you're in your cube form, so... Yeah, be careful. If you have no rings, then yeah, you're kind of screwed. Coolio. Alright, let's see, on to Act 3, A-B. Alright, let's see what the gimmick to this stage is. Well, we're already in the 2D perspective, so it has something to do with that. Oh, well, it looks like the gimmick to this stage is this yellow spring that keeps following you. Yeah, the whole point is this uh, yellow spring that, you know, follows your every movement. And I mean your every movement. I mean, it'll, if you go a little bit behind like I did, it'll still eventually go forward. Uh, well, fuck me for thinking it go forward. Oh, okay, it stopped. Alright, this is where it stops. Alright. But, yeah. The whole gimmick to Act 3 is this uh, yellow spring here. If you actually go far ahead of it when it's moving from side to side, you can actually... Um, which I would call it, um, you know, it will keep up with you. When it's going up with a vertical, yeah, it'll, um, yeah, it won't catch up with you. Like, if I decide to go backwards, it will not go back to catch me. I'll most likely fall to my death. This is actually another place where I died many, uh, many times because, because of, uh, my reckless playing habits when I record this game for the, uh, commentary channel. Or for my commentary channel. You know, the one I do with Chris and Eric, for those who, um, watch the commentary channel if you don't I don't blame you we're not really that good to tell you the truth 
Huzzah! 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 This is a place where I died a lot when I recorded this game for the commentary Jalka as well. I was pretty reckless on trying to get a couple things, mostly the red rings. I don't know why, but I just decided I wanted the red rings, and yeah, that red ring is not worth it. But that extra life is worth it. Gotta love the soundtrack. Huzzah! See? Now I jump forward, the yellow spring will follow me, but that's the end of the level. Huzzah! Yeah, by pressing the X button when you do the stomp move, you can easily um, get more um, height in your jump when you um, use the yellow spring. And I got myself another extra life. Seriously, what's with all these extra lives? It's like they don't trust me. Another one. I'm telling you, they just don't trust me, do they? God, I even love the area maps of the area map music of each area. That's how much the soundtrack kicks ass. I'm serious. <sighs> but enough gushing about the soundtrack. Move on to Act 4. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Uh, don't know what those are, but they remind me of a certain enemy. I think actually from Metroid, I think. I can't think of what enemy. Uh, it's something from Metroid Prime, if I can recollect the thought. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these guys shoot a barrage of little green um, electro balls, and a very predictable, uh, predictable, <laughs> predictable pattern. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the flying fuck! Oh, whatever. Here's that purple capsule again. Oh, there's obviously a purple wisp, but we haven't got him yet. Which means that we're gonna have to bypass all this shit just by ourselves. Doo 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 doo. Ow. Oh fuck, I need a ring. I need rings. I need rings badly. There we go. God, if I were to die near the end of the stage, I'd be kinda pissed. Alright, I got my extra life. I don't know why I keep doing that, because... <laughs> like I said, people, force a habit. Ooh, you got a chance to get the green wisp. You know, I wonder what they... wonder what he does. Whoa! Oh god, anti-gravity and Sonic. Never really liked anti-gravity in any platform whatsoever. Oh god, you guys again? Didn't learn the first time, huh? My rings. My boost. Huzzah. Ugh, lost those egg chasers. Oh, another free falling section. More boost. Red ring. Even though I didn't mean to actually get the red ring, but I'm actually surprised I got that on my first try. Because that's actually a pretty tough one to get if because uh hey I met the Physics for free falling can be kind of jittery. I mean, sometimes you'll jitter left and right and everything like that. It's, I don't know, it's too sensitive. That was completely pointless. <laughs> Woo! Oh, jeez. Well, here's a green wisp. Let's see what this bastard does. Ah, he allows us to hover. Nifty. But maybe there's more to him than that. Whoa! You see that? I just did the light speed dash. Yeah, so the green... Enough bullshitting aside, because I am bullshitting you all. <laughs> the green wisp pretty much is a hover wisp, but not only that, by pressing the B button, we're able to do the light speed dash, which, frankly, does not make sense to me, because, you know, that's always been a natural set move for Sonic in the 3D Sonic games, and they made it a gimmick power-up. I don't know why they did that, but... Uh, damn it, Sonic Team, just damn it. I mean, I, it doesn't bother me too much, but I don't know why they couldn't just add that to Sonic's uh, natural skill list. I don't know why. They do it with another Wisp, too. 
we'll, we'll be getting to that wisp soon. It's actually um, in the world that we'll be going to next. So I always go for that world next. Huzzah, 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 huzzah. Take that, you band geeks! Nah, I'm just kidding. Band geeks are people too. Right, Chris? See? Light speed dash. And by using this trail of rings, we're able to get all the way up here. Yeah, if you actually do the light speed dash while in your um, hover form, the meter won't actually go down, won't go down faster, go down fast. Because when you're using hover regularly, can you see the meter? It goes down pretty fast. But when you're actually doing the light speed dash, um, it decreases the time. And crap. Oh, we're going to need to hover. Hover! Ooh. There's a trail of rings. Let's just do it anyway. Whee! Oh. Well, you know. Oh, God. <laughs> I was just waiting until I get out of my green wisp form in order for me to get my ass over there. Woo! I got myself in A rank. Almost close to getting an S rank. I think you actually need, um... 200, uh, wait, was that a million points I broke? Yeah, I broke a million points. Did I? Well, let me see. Yeah, I actually broke a billion points. What do you know? Only in Sonic Colors are you able to do that. But now we got the Green Wisp. The Hover Wisp. Now we can use him in other stages. Same thing goes with the Blue Wisp as well, too. Last act, and it's another Green Wisp act. In fact, this whole act is based on the Green Wisp. I mean, look at it. He's right above me. <laughs> He's right above me. Now, there is a red uh, ring down at below there, but I would not suggest getting it yet. Uh, or you can get it, but I'm not going to. I'm just manually climbing right now because there's no point of using the Hover Wisp. Now, there's a point of using the Hover Wisp. Huzzah! Huzzah! Woo! Woohoo! I like the hover wisp, especially the song. I think the hover, I think the hover wisp has my favorite song, has my favorite jingle to it when you're using it. I don't know. It sounds so peaceful. It sounds so just calming. I like it. Do 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 ow do do ow do do ow do do ow do do ow. Oh jeez. Whew. Made it. Woo. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, that was um Act uh, Six in a nutshell. Yeah, so close I getting an S rank. Oh well, whatever. Who cares? You know what? I don't need to break the scoreboard anymore. I don't know. I find it a, kind of amusing to um destroy the scoreboard. It's, the only Sonic game I know that you actually do that. But anyway, let's go free ourselves another planet, shall we?